good news. There's once again a V6 engine option for after a few years during which Dearborn's mainstream family sedan offered only four bangers. Better news, it's a twin turbocharged 2. 7 liter EcoBoost V6 making 325 horsepower. An engine we've seen before in and in the Fusion, it appears only under the hood of the Sport, which joins the luxury focused Platinum as new models in. Dedicated Ford watchers will recognize this as the return of the Fusion Sport introduced for 2010 and dropped when the car was redesigned for 2013. The midterm refresh for 17 brings some amendments not necessarily improvements to our eye to the exterior styling, an upgraded interior, and, most appealing, the sport model tested here, used a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 making 263 horsepower, roughly equal to what you'd find in the V6s then available in and U2 cars Ford seems to chase perpetually for sales honors in the category. The V6s account for only incremental numbers for all of these makers. But every buyer counts when you're vying for the sales crown. The EcoBoost gives Ford clear bragging rights as the first modern family sedan to bust through the 300 HP barrier. And it outmuscles a lot of would-be sports sedans in the near luxury arena. Two. There is a lot of grunt on tap too much. Really x80 for a front-wheel drive vehicle. See our review of what this engine. Hence the Fusion Sport standard all-wheel drive system, which operates in front-drive mode until it detects any wheel slip. And it's pretty easy to induce that condition with 380 pounds-feet of torque. If you are willing to switch away from the digital tachometer display, it's too small anyway. In the instrument panel, there's a live graphical depiction available to show the torque. 